All right, so I want to do a very informal speed test between the new BooksNote Max and the BooksNote Air 4C. This one, of course, has no front light. This one does have a front light, but I've got it turned down very low, as you can see here, uh, so that the screen looks, in my current room lighting, that the screen would look very similar to the Note Max. So, the, uh, this is going to be very informal, nothing scientific. I will show you that I've got no apps running in the background on either device. So I wanted to have them both in the same state. And I'll start a couple of the apps just to see what we get here. So we'll start off with uh, something like Facebook. Very similar performance there. I'll go into Reddit. delay on both devices, but it's certainly quicker on the Note Max. Go into Flipboard. Started a little quicker over here. So maybe a little bit quicker in the Note Air 4C. Go into CNN. Looks like it's quicker on the Note Max. Go into the Weather Channel. Uh, kind of similar. Not enough to really say that one was a clear winner. And then uh, go into Microsoft Word. Very similar speed there. Um, I've got a couple of Bible study apps. Uh, one of them is called Logos Bible. I'll go into both of them at the same time. Already finished over here. Still getting cranked off over here. So there was a big difference in speed there. They're both running in the background again. Let me see what it would look like to bring them up now. A little bit quicker over here, but not much. Very similar. Uh, the Kindle app. Slight advantage to the Note Max. Um, let me look at my personal email. I use an app, it's just called Email, that I got off the Google Play Store. Quicker here. Um, and then let me just go bring uh, look into Microsoft. I'm sorry to Google Chrome. Let's load um, CNN.com into both. I wish I could uh, type into both at the same time, but I'm not that coordinated. Left and right hand. I'm going to go ahead and hit the return key twice. Okay, so we were quicker on the Note Max. All right, so my video cut off there for a second, but uh, you can see some of the speed differences there. The only other thing that I was concerned about with the Books devices con uh, compared to the Remarkable Paper Pro, and I don't have that with me downstairs to be able to look at that right now, but I have a very large hyperlinked PDF file that I created for work. Uh, it's 5,053 pages. And I know that's a lot of pages, but um, I take a lot of notes. So I have 30 different subjects in the notebook. Each subject has a place for 52 different notes. And every note has uh, three pages available right off the bat. I also have 53-week, um, uh, in case we have a 53-week fiscal calendar, 53 weeks worth of five days, five weekdays worth of notes to take, sort of journals for work, um, some visual visualization of calendars, and then to-do lists that I, that I have in there. So that's why it's 5,053 pages. But on the Remarkable Paper Pro, it loads very quickly initially. It exits very quickly. I, I have noticed on the books devices that 
uh, once you get it loaded into the device, you import it from the PDF. The important, uh, the uh, importation or the import process, <laughs> whatever the word is, takes two and a half, three minutes to bring in that large of a PDF file and then import it into the notes application. Uh, but once it's in there, it's pretty snappy. But every time that I go to exit the note and it saves it, that's a good, I'm estimating 20, 30 second saving process. Where on the Remarkable Paper Pro, as soon as I exit it, it just exits it. I guess it's saving it along the way. But wanted to kind of show you that real quick. Um, I'm gonna go into the notes app. And here is the note on both devices. Uh, I think it's gonna load pretty snappy on both devices. It's already been imported into notes. It came up over here first. Um, I'll switch between sections. I'm on the notes title page there, or table of contents there. When I go into the journal, which is a 53 week, look at, uh, for example, Monday through Friday, you can take notes each one of the days. Um, you can see how that's uh, designed there. Get back to the home page. Well, if I can hit it and then, um, you know, go into the calendar. Each time I'm clicking on a different one of these sections, it's moving thousands of pages uh, in advance. So uh, pretty impressive with the speed that it's handling it. it looks like the Note Air 4C is a little bit quicker, though. Um, so just, um, you know, just something like uh, when I go into a note section or this happens to be a to do list. When I go into the to do list section, it looks like the Note Air 4C is a little bit faster. Going back to the home page. Um, when I go into a, just for a section like, just say training and development, <clears throat> it's faster on the Note Air 4C. When I click on a note section, for example, note section one, it's faster on the Note Air 4C. So interesting results between the two. You know, overall, I say that the Note Max feels faster to me, uh, except for in very uh, specific situations like this. I'm gonna exit the note real quick on both devices and just kind of let you see how long it takes. I'm gonna hit the X first, and then I'm gonna hit the left arrow sign and exit. Both of them are gonna come up and say saving notes. I'm not timing this officially, but the Note Air 4C has already backed out of the note, and then the Note Max is backed out. I didn't make any changes. If I'd have made changes, that would have taken a little bit longer to process. But um, anyway, just a real quick, like I said, unscientific look at the speed difference between the two. Love both of the devices, love how they sync together. Uh, I change a note on one, it just syncs up to the other one. Uh, it's a great combination to have, plan on traveling with the Note Air 4C. So it's uh, lighter in my luggage or in my backpack. Plan on using the Note Air, uh, I'm sorry, the Note Max on my desk uh, because just the space that I have for uh, reading emails or taking notes. It's just, uh, this is a joy to use. The ghosting issues that everybody are talking about are there. I have to say, maybe I'm not as picky as some of the reviewers that I've seen, but the, the ghosting doesn't seem any worse than a Note Air 4C. And it, it's easy to clear up. I have a swipe in from the left, left side of the page for a full refresh uh, on both devices. And it, it's really, it cleans it up really nicely. So Maybe I got a newer device. Maybe, you know, I am updated to the latest beta. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing on the beta, and there was a warning before you upgraded that said that, um, you know, for about two to three days after you upgrade, that there was going to be a deep optimization of the device and the apps on the device, and that it may cause an increase in heat. It may cause, uh, I guess, more rapid battery consumption. I am noticing that my battery is, is running down faster than it did initially. But, you know, I'm gonna give it the two to three days that they said um, that it should clean itself up. So anyway, just a real quick test. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, like the video. If you'd consider subscribing to the channel, I uh, plan on putting out a lot more videos in the very near future. So thanks for joining the channel.